today on Twin City Wrestling. The last action heroes battle big names from away. The champ versus chiseled chip chambers. And the boys from the trailer park face their biggest challenge yet. Welcome back to Twin City Wrestling on Eastlink TV. I'm Adria Young with the most action-packed episode so far. Two championship matches today. The TCW Heavyweight Championship is on the line as dazzling Dick Durning puts his belt up against a man we last saw competing for the tag titles. And the current tag team champions, r, r Express, face their toughest challenge yet as they take on two guys who've been teaming together for years, Sexton Phoenix and Narciss Saint. First, a match from the TCW archives featuring two of the biggest stars to emerge from the Canadian independent wrestling scene in the past decade. Let's go to Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. It is a hot, windy, humid evening at the South Shore Exhibition in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. And those are the Snap City Hooligans making their Twin City Wrestling debut. A couple of guys who make their home in Southern Ontario. But it's a bit of a homecoming. For that man, Tyson Dukes. He lives in Upper Canada now, but he was born in Miramichi, New Brunswick. His tag team partner, you may recognize from the WWE's NXT show. Going by the name of Ty Dillinger. But he is Sean Spears. And together, these two are known as Snap City Hooligans. Oh, yeah, these guys. They like to have a bit of fun. And their opponents in this match, weighing in at the combined weight of Hello. 460 pounds, from Long Beach, California, Wesley Mike Packers, Weezy, the Last Action Heroes. The Last Action Heroes make their way to the ring. Big Wesley Pipes. No stranger to Twin City Wrestling fans. Can't say they particularly like him. Likes to show off his big guns. And his tag team partner on this occasion, Pat Persuasi. A gym rat. Makes his home the gym. Spears says, you want to flex? Let's flex. There's some good flexing from Wesley Pipes, the muscle beast from Muscle Beach. Pat Persuasi likewise wants to flex. Spears says anybody can flex, but can you do this? And so Snap City Hooligans make their pecs dance. And the ladies in the audience squeal. We're used to seeing beef here at the South Shore Exhibition. A little bit of beef cake for the crowd. Persuasi claims to be getting the hang of this dancing pex thing. Yeah, watch those babies go. Pat Persuasi cleverly leading a Pat Persuasi chant. Crowd doesn't quite get into it. Sean Spears will go to the outside, leaving Tyson Dukes in the ring to face the Muscle Beast. And we're officially underway. You can hear how windy it is. What you can't hear is how humid it is. It is a hot night. All of these guys had better hope that their conditioning is good enough to withstand this kind of heat and humidity. Not a lot of people have been able to tie up with Wesley Pipes and get much control over him. 
He's a big guy and he can push you around. As we're seeing there. He trains legs, people. I wish Pat Persuasi would just shut his mouth. Everything he says is about training and lifting. And most of his sentences end with the word bro. They lock up again. Wesley Pipes pushes Tyson Dukes back into the corner. The ref's calling for a break. And we get a break, but not a clean one. An arm drag teaches Wesley Pipes a lesson, a follow-up with another arm drag. Momentum is definitely with Tyson Dukes, who doesn't mind flexing for the audience himself. A little bit of Hulk Hogan posing. Brother. Sean Spears is tagged in, and Pat Persuasi is tagged in. One of the first things they teach you in professional wrestling is do not turn your back on an opponent. Body slam. Followed by a leg drop. Sean Spears putting the boots to Pat Persuasi. Picks him up, drags him into the corner. The referee wants a break, but instead there's a chop. Sean Spears drags Pat Persuasi by the arm, brings it back toward the center of the ring where he has more freedom. Takes him over to his partner. That's some smart tag team wrestling. Quick tags, keep him in your corner. Tyson Dukes has uh, Pat Persuasi doubled over with a boot to the midsection. Snapmare off the ropes and a gorgeous looking elbow. Gets one, only one. Still, it appeared that uh, Wesley Pipes was a little afraid of that uh, that move there. Wanted to make sure his partner wasn't in any difficulty. Now what are these two clowns conspiring to do? Having a little confab on the outside of the ring. Again, they're turning their backs on their opponents. And they're brought in the hard way. This is our first time seeing Tyson Dukes in the ring in Twin City Wrestling, but he is no stranger to independent wrestling fans across Canada. If you're a follower of the indie scene at all, you know who Tyson Dukes is. A little bit of flexing, a little bit of posing, and a little bit of inverted atomic knee drop on the last action heroes. Hooligans raise them up, and a collision in the center of the ring sends the last action heroes back to the canvas. They haven't had much offense. The hooligans seem to be winning this one so far. Right into your living room comes Pat Persuasi, takes him to the other side of the ring. Dukes asks for a boot. Spears all too happy to deliver right to the jaw. Sean Spears just measuring his opponent for those chops. And again, those aren't just for show. Wow, what a drop kick. What a drop kick. You can see why WWE signed this guy. I'm not scared. Yeah, Pipes does look a little bit scared of these two. He's used to having his way with opponents. We saw him on the last episode manhandling Michael Rave. These guys are no slouch. They have experience and the muscle to compare with these last action heroes. Persuasi snapmares his opponent into the center of the ring, plants a knee in the back, cranks on the neck. Levels an elbow down. Spears tries to fight his way out of that hole. 
Gets back to a vertical base. Whips Persuasi across, but gets reversed into the corner. Looks like some of those moves are uh, are paying off for Pat Persuasi. It, it looks like Sean Spears' neck might be hurt. And if anybody can inflict more damage onto a neck, it's this guy, Wesley Pipes. A couple of his forearms take your head right off. The crowd is really digging these Snap City hooligans. They and many of our other wrestlers are on Twitter. Follow us at TCW Promotions. Be the first to hear when Twin City Wrestling is coming to your area. There's those forearms I was talking about. Tyson Dukes runs out of patience, comes into the ring. The referee tries to get him out. What the ref doesn't see is Wesley Pipes with his hand right on the windpipe of Sean Spears. Persuasi tags in. And they're double teaming him in the corner. The ref's laying the count on. They do have a five count to get out of the ring before getting disqualified. Leg trip. Rolls it over into a side headlock. Even though he runs his mouth a lot, this Pat Persuasi does have a pretty sensible mind, even though he spends all of his time in the gym inhaling the smell of sweat. He does know how to wrestle. Right now he's got uh, Sean Spears down. Spears is trying hard not to have both of his shoulders on the mat, otherwise the referee will start trying to count the pin. Fighting back to his feet. Reaching for that tag, trying to inch his way over to the corner. Trying to get Tyson Dukes back in the ring, but Wesley Pipes comes in, breaks the whole thing up. It's just enough time for the referee to be distracted. Not much the ref can do in a situation like that. Persuasi goes for the pin, can't hold him down. Grabs an ankle to prevent Spears from uh, launching across the ring to bring Tyson Dukes in. Dukes would like nothing more than to hop in there and get some revenge on these two. Are they going to tag or are they not going to tag? I see what they're up to. Again, trying to distract the referee so that Pipes can do some double teaming on the other side, holding him down by the throat. Quick in and out. Persuasi on the outside, Pipes is back in. Drags Spears in, so he can't get a leg on the ropes when he goes for the pin, but doesn't need a leg on the ropes. He has enough energy left to put his shoulder up. Crush on Pipes! Go. Wesley Pipes is smart enough to put himself between Sean Spears and Tyson Dukes, so that Spears can't muscle his way across. In theory, anyway. Come on, I go! Come on! Spears is trying to get up. Make all these people's days. Oh, a solid punch to the midsection. Lifts pipes up. Pipes wisely comes back with that flying elbow. Holds him down by the jaw. Nearly got him that time. Tyson Dukes on the outside is uh, exercising exceptional patience here, not leaping in to save his partner when clearly he was in some jeopardy. Go, Spears, go. Go, Spears, go. Wesley Pipes is continuing to work on that neck. Smart move. Twisting that head. The cheers of the crowd seem to be having an effect on Sean Spears. Digging down deep, pulling into the reserves, trying to get up. Spears lifts him up. Backdrop, is that enough for, for Tyson Dukes to get the tag? It is. Takes Persuasi down with a chop. Knocks him back with a clothesline. Pulls him back out, off the ropes. With a back elbow. Tyson Dukes is fired up. A 
whip into the corner. Is he following up with a chop? This guy's furious. Big suplex. Hangs on, picks him back up. Big suplex. Hangs on, picks him back up. Big suplex. Three in a row. Is he not the legal man? Who's not the legal man? Oh, is Wesley Pipes the legal man? He really ought to keep that in mind. A choke. Pipes is the legal man, legal enough to get a boot in the face from Sean Spears. Tyson Dukes wraps him up in a small package. The ref's there to make the count. And three, they catch it. What a spectacular debut from the Snap City Hooligans. Tyson Dukes, Sean Spears, together at last for the very first time right here in Twin City Wrestling. On a gorgeous, if windy night, at the South Shore Exhibition in Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. Let's check this out again. Has him in the choke. Doesn't see Sean Spears coming with that huge super kick. Pipes is knocked silly. Snap City Hooligans get the win. Big round of applause. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Twin City Wrestling on Eastlake. The challenges keep emerging for TCW Heavyweight Champion Dazzling Dick Durning. Every week we've seen him in tough physical matches and fans have to wonder how much more can Durning take? This week one half of the tag team Gyration Nation will try to grab the gold. Let's watch. Now's the time. Dartmouth is the place. I'm Scott Simpson. Welcome to the Sportsplex. Chip Chambers emerges through the curtain. One half of the tag team Gyration Nation from Montreal, Quebec. This is Chiseled Chip Chambers. We saw him in action a few weeks ago with his tag team partner Dale Licious and Dale Dangles in a tag team encounter. Chambers seems to think it's a good idea to outwardly antagonize the fans at ringside. Buddy, you have a 12-year-old laughing at you. I don't think people are afraid of you. It remains to be seen if the champ needs to be afraid of him. This is a title match for the TCW Heavyweight Champion. We've seen TCW champ Dazzling Dick Durning face anyone and everyone. He's faced some big guys. This is not one of the biggest guys, to be honest. He's with Chip Chambers. Not an enormous guy, but that doesn't mean he's not tough. This is going to be a test of toughness as he faces a pretty enormous guy. Big mood, says Chip. He better not take the champ lightly. Dazzling Dick Durning is an imposing presence. About to burst through the curtain. What's he wearing tonight? Dick Vermeer got the gold in his hands and on his trunks. Now we can bet that Dick Durning is not going to take Chip Chambers lightly. As we said earlier, Dazzlin has faced uh, big guys, strong guys, quick guys, aerialists, technical wrestlers, and brute strength. He's come out on top every single time. He's entirely undefeated in Twin City Wrestling. Could this be the night that that changes? We shouldn't underestimate Chisel Chip Chambers. The last time we saw him in tag team action, he was all about showing off with some, well, unorthodox moves like the tea bag. What does that look say to you? Is he scared? 
Is he unimpressed? Is he nervous? There's the belt. The ref showing it to everybody, letting everyone know this is on the line. That big gold belt. There's a good look at it. That's what everybody in Twin City Wrestling wants. That's what everybody in the Atlantic Canada wrestling industry wants. They want to defeat Dick Durning. Why? Well, to bring it down to financial matters, you make more money as champion. It's a hard life, though, going from town to town, defending that title against all comers. The match starts off very aggressively with a strong tie-up. Chip is, is outright inviting the champ to take a shot at saying, is that all you've got? Dick Durning is not the kind of guy you want to make mad. They lock up, go behind with a waist lock by Dick Durning. Chambers will try to break those hands apart so he can get an advantage. Takes it into a hammer lock. Exerting pressure on the shoulder and elbow joints. Durning reverses into a top wrist lock. Gets that in securely. Takes his opponent around, single leg takedown. Steps on the arm. Gets it into another wrist lock on the ground. Smart wrestling by Dick Durning. The object is to get your opponent's shoulders on the ground for a three count. Durning did everything right there. Say something about this match. We dare you. Go to Facebook. Facebook.com slash TCW Promotions. Get all the latest live event news. See what the wrestlers are up to. Durning still has a hammer lock. That's a weird counter to use the foot to go back, try to break the hold. Smart move by Chip Chambers. Durning using his hand in the opponent's face, trying to break that hold. Chambers twists that arm. You can see he's got that hand twisted all the way around, keeping it right in his chest. Very smart. More chain wrestling gets uh, Durning with the advantage from behind. Takes him down into an ankle lock. Chambers kicks out of that. Reverses. Slides a foot between there and gets another takedown. Quick backslide out of nowhere by Dick Durning. Small package by Chambers. Two counts. If anything, I would say that earned uh, Chip Chambers a little bit of respect from the champ. Obviously, he can wrestle. He can show off. He can yell at the crowd. He can dance and thrust things. Obviously, he can wrestle, too. Turning with a go-behind. Single leg takedown from the back. Twist rolls up the arm. Gets him in a crucifix. Can only get a one count. He was a little close to the ropes for that. Oh, now it's getting nasty. Oh! Durning does not take that standing still. Comes back with punches and kicks and chops. Chambers has awakened a giant here. Sends him off the ropes. Durning follows in with a clothesline that sends Chip Chambers right into the front row. Dazzler needs to regain his composure. Step back. Instead, he goes right for the ropes. Chambers has a 10 count to get back into the ring. Durning can catch his breath here. Instead, he decides to pursue his opponent. This could easily work against him. And now they're brawling on the outside. Oh, wicked uppercut. That one took Chip right off his feet. Durning getting frustrated. Looks like he's about to throw him into the crowd. A chop. Yeah, two can play at that pelvic thrust game there. Durning knows he can only pin his opponent in the ring. Chambers wants out like nobody's business. Come on, come on. 
But that kind of aggression paid off in favor of the, the challenger here. An arm drag, though, evens the score. Second one. Shades of Ricky Steamboat there. Durning wisely goes back to a wrestling hold to slow things down. It looks like Chambers has some amateur wrestling background here. He is able to twist and, and squirm out of all of these holds. And a back elbow on the break clips the knee of Durning. How many people like? No! And that's actually a brilliant maneuver to clip the knee of Durning, because as I've said in so many of these other matches, Durning is exceptional with flying knees. But even from a kneeling position, he can lay those strikes in. Chambers with a knee of his own, yanking Durning's hair back into his knee. This guy has shown us dozens of moves already in the opening minutes of this match. There's nothing fancy about that, using the ropes for leverage to try and choke Durning out. Comes flying off. Durning seeing stars after that elbow to the back of the head while his neck was draped over the ropes. Chambers would be wise to follow up. That was a really devastating move. Leaping into the air with a leg drop across the throat. Grabs a leg. Durning showing more energy left than many would have expected there. Another knee to the chest. I'm told we have to take a quick network break. I promise you won't miss any of the match. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Twin City Wrestling on Eastlink. Welcome back to the Dartmouth Sportsplex. The match continues. Championship match between Dazzling Dick Durning in the gold, chiseled Chip Chambers in the multicolored short shorts. This has been a brutal back and forth match. Chip Chambers may be significantly smaller than the champ, but he has dealt a bunch of really solid offense and uh, some spectacular chain wrestling as well. Chambers just dumped Dick Durning right on his head. Durning hasn't moved since he was dropped on the back of his head. That's pure power, bud. Pure power. Another two count. Durning's able to power out. Chambers catches him in a, in a hold, drags him back to the center of the ring, and plants a knee in the back of his neck. Obviously, if the champ has enough energy to power out of uh, a pin attempt like that, it's a wise move for a chiseled chip here to try to take some of this wind away. Maybe catch a breather himself while putting this sleeper on Dick Durning. Perhaps, perhaps he can gain a submission or a knockout. Doesn't look like he's got it on quite tight now. Doesn't have the biggest arms. Durning takes him over the, with a snap mare, chopped to the back of the neck, goes for a kick to the chest. Oh, he calls that a leg line. Chip Chambers with a leg line. It's like a clothesline, but with a leg. Chambers has to plot his next move. Looks a little winded himself. Right in the middle of the ring. Perfect place to score a pin. But instead he chooses to stomp the champ. And stand on Dazzlin's throat. Chip Chambers slowly mounting the ropes. Champion. Comes off and nothing but canvas. That'll knock the wind out of him. Both men are down. 
will be the first to rise to his feet. I don't know why the ref's not counting them unless we can't see that Chip is on his feet already. In opposite corners, Chambers charges, catches an elbow in the jaw. Had to be an instinct move by Durning, who raises a foot. Barely hanging on. Throws Chambers into the corner. Wicked Larry. Back suplex on Chip Chambers. Champ wants to end this now. Go home with the gold. Chambers gets a shoulder up just in time. We know Durning has a few moves left in his arsenal. The Ducks comes off with a leaping clothesline. And now he's all fired up. Oh, is he's warming up that knee? Oh my gosh! Up on Durning's shoulders. Oh! Chambers grabs two handfuls of eyeballs. Durning comes off, plants two knees in the back of his flying opponent. Durning looks skyward, picks him up. Shots. An aggressive, humbling cover by dazzling Dick Durning. He retains the goal. winner by pinfall and still DCW heavyweight champion of the world, handling Dick Durning. Another tough match. DCW heavyweight champion, dazzling Dick Durning. He has not had an easy time of any of these matches. I see a bright future for Chip Chambers, though. He really showed everybody what he's made of. Some people wrote him off after that tag team match. Yep, Dick Durning is the complete package. Lays that belt down. Big thanks to the crowd. The TCW fans have been so supportive of Dazzling Dickman. Check the replay. As the champ hoists his opponent up, comes down with a move he calls the pop shot. We've seen him finish so many people off with this. He gets the three count. What an exciting night in Dartmouth. Let's take it back to Avery Young in the control center. That was a hard fought match for the TCW Heavyweight Championship. We've been told that Dazzling Dick Durning has been put into another match in our next episode, and this one has been building for months. TCW boss Cyril Richards has signed Durning to face the Muscle Beast from Muscle Beach, the last action hero Wesley Pipes. We've seen Pipes bullying his way through opponents on this show. Could he be the man to end Durning's undefeated streak? Don't miss our next episode. Plus, plus, a new championship will be unveiled. Right now, tag team title time. Let's go to the TCW Sanctuary in Dartmouth. The next contest is set for one fall, and it's for your TCW Tag Team Championships. <laughs> Making their way down the aisle at a combined weight of four. couple of scoundrels, these guys have their share of fans. Following Twin City Wrestling on East Lake for the past several weeks, or professional wrestling in Atlantic Canada at all for the past few years, you know full well who these two are. That is Narciss Saint, Hamilton, Bermuda. Close behind him is his longtime tag team partner, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Sexton Phoenix. Showing no respect to the fans whatsoever. 
machine go. And now, the head. making the way down the aisle. is why Twin City Wrestling owner Cyril Richards has had a hate on for these two guys since their arrival at TCW. He wanted them to do anything but win the Tag Team Championships. We saw them a few weeks ago in the match that won them the titles. Cyril tried to get in the way of that. They won them anyway. We saw Cyril try to get the belts off them with the bearded bomber, Shahir Rasool and Lumberjack Johnson. That didn't work either. Could Cyril be behind this match? Narciss Saint, Sexton Phoenix. These two guys have everything it takes. Smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol. That's rules! They seem to embody the values that uh, Cyril embraces. Looking down their nose at these two guys who are just here trying to make a few bucks so they can go back to the trailer park and buy some food and beer and cigarettes. Exactly what Cyril doesn't want them to have. The match is underway. Two four. And a double elbow to follow. Rick whips Saint in. And Saint ends up head first. And Phoenix ends up head first into the lap of his friend Narcissus Saint. <laughs> Looks like we're left with Rod and Narcissus Saint in the ring. Phoenix on the outside. Rod whips Saint into the ropes. Rod charges, sends Saint over the ropes. Leaving the two boys from the trailer park for the last men standing in the ring as uh, the other guys are left out on the floor to regroup. We know how much Narciss Saint loves his hair. He can't appreciate being pulled like that. Phoenix pulls Rod out of the ring. Sends him back first into that steel post. Rick tries to pin Saint. Phoenix has given him the business on the outside. Saint's whipped into the corner. Rick comes charging in on Saint. Now Phoenix is in the ring. I don't think Rick even sees him. He gets clobbered in the back of the head with a forearm. Phoenix is not the legal man. Still lays the boots to him. Rod stuck on the outside with his back all jammed. Saint goes for the pin. Rick wants to do anything he can to get Rod in the ring again, although Rod's not in much better shape right now, having taken a couple of shots into the ring post. Neck breaker on Rick. Some polite applause from Sexton Phoenix. I suppose technically that is true, Sexton Phoenix, and holding the tag rope. Well, I wouldn't put it past him to wrap that rope around Rick's neck. The nearest opportunity. Measures with a swift kick to the breadbasket. Another neck breaker. They seem to be targeting Rick's neck tonight. Phoenix taking a moment to jaw with the fans. Plant a fist in the jaw. A 
Rick. Rod's had enough. He's trying to step in, get the ref's attention to stop the double teaming. All it's doing, though, is allowing more double teaming. Rod Ranger pleading with the referee to keep his eye on the match as Rick is getting pummeled and double teamed. Phoenix and Saint have years of experience going up and down the roads together, sometimes facing each other more often than not, combining as a tag team. They know each other's moves, they know when to tag in, when to tag out, when to set up, when to distract the referee. Phoenix comes down with the knee to the chest of Rick Owens, goes for the cover, unable to get three, starting to lose his cool perhaps. Rod wants to be tagged in so he can unleash some punishment and revenge on these two. We saw these teams face off in a six-man tag in the last episode of Twin City Wrestling. And with a bit of sneakery, Phoenix and Saint, their partner Max Power, were able to get the better of the r, &R Express. Gorgeous drop kick. Can't take anything away from Narciss Saint. He can do the moves. Rick gets a shoulder up. Phoenix shouting encouragement to his partner, Narciss Saint. Yes, use wrestling. Saying yes, use wrestling, and he does exactly that. They've been working on Rick's neck for this whole match. Rick's asking for a smoke. I tell you, the fans have been known to throw cigarettes into the ring to help this guy. Oh, gotta take a break. Welcome back with the Dartmouth Sportsplex, affectionately known as the TCW Sanctuary. Tag team titles are on the line. In the orange, black, and camouflage are the r, &R Express, currently chanting, Rick Needs Smokes. In comes a cigarette. Rick ducking under, gets caught with a flying knee from Narciss Saint. Tags in his partner, Sexton Phoenix. The great vine, the arm. Sexton can drop in a, a, a leg. Rick is gasping for breath. Partly because he's a heavy smoker. Partly because he's there. He's got his smoke. Could that be what it... Oh. Phoenix breaks a cigarette in half and that enrages Rodney Owens and the crowd. Rod storms in, referee goes to push him out, which only gives the opposition the opportunity to strangle poor Rick in the other corner. Saint had his boot firmly planted in the throat of Rick Owens. Rod wants in there so badly. Two count, Rick's able to hang on one more time. How long does he have before he's completely expelled? Phoenix wisely putting himself between his opponents and the friendly corner. Saint runs in to break it up. This is entirely unfair. Phoenix smiling. We never see him smile, but he's enjoying the fact that Rodney Owens is so bent out of shape that he keeps running in. The ref keeps having to push him out, which just gives Phoenix and Saint more opportunity to fly their dirty tricks. He does it again. Rodney is not one of these guys who is able to keep his cool. That's one reason he got into this fighting business. Got so many scraps at the Handwell trailer park. Somebody said, why don't you try pro wrestling? And he says, okay, bud. Phoenix 
gets whipped into the corner. Redneck bar. Both men are down. Does Rick have the wherewithal to just roll over to the corner and tag Rod? He's just a couple of feet away. And the ref is right there to see if anybody can make a tag. They make a tag and the other guys make a tag. Rod comes in. Close lines and elbows flying. Saints down. Phoenix is down. Reg is able to somehow revive Rick. I don't know if he passed him a cigarette or a swig off the flask. Rod wants Rick in, wants a boot. Now Rod has a bad habit of tagging in his brother just like that after Rick has been beaten up most of the match. They call that smokes, let's go. Something certainly heard Ricky say on trailer Rick lays on top of his opponent, not an effective cover. Phoenix is still in there, Saints the legal man. Phoenix rolls over to the corner near those gold belts. Rick goes into the corner, tries to pick up Saint for a body slam, is able to do so. Rod's inviting him to use the boot, which they do. Tag. Rod's in now. But Phoenix is still in the ring. I don't know why the ref's not getting him out. Rod the Bot has Rick up in a body slam position and dumps him on Narciss Saint. Rodney goes for the pin and Phoenix leaps out of that corner. Breaks it up. All four men in the ring. The ref looks like he's lost control of this match. He starts wailing on Sexton Phoenix while Rick is stumbling around. Rod shouts across the ring to Rick, punches. Rod's dumped on the outside. Phoenix is in still. Overcomes Saint, dumped to the outside. Saint delivers a kick to the head of Rick Owens. Phoenix is stalking from behind. Codebreaker. Narciss Saint leaps off with a moonsault type move. He pulls him away from the ropes, rolls him up. He got the three count. Ladies and gentlemen, your They've lost the, I can't believe it. Red desperately trying to revive Rick with a cigarette in the corner. Well, Rod looks like he's gonna cry. St. Phoenix was pleased with themselves. Rick looks like he needs a nap. What an astonishing development. They look like they're almost ready to fight.
Kendrick and Rodney Owens, the r, &R Express. Two scrappy guys from the Hanwell Trailer Park, still heroes to this crowd at the Dartmouth Sportsplex TCW Sanctuary. They showed a lot of guts, they showed a lot of heart. Now collecting cigarettes from the audience. What a way to lose. What a way to end the night for them. You okay there, bud? What do you mean? We got screwed. We got screwed over again. We got screwed what again. Is this? It's true. What happened? Dude. I'm getting dumped over the top rope. I'm on the floor. I get to jump into the ring and he hits three. That referee. I that know, referee. It seems to me I get the <laughs> kicked out of me the whole time. <laughs> what is this? Another job by Cyril. Another We're coming for you, Sexton. We're coming for you, Saint. And most importantly, we're coming for you, sir. What do you want? I heard that you guys just lost your match. Yeah. How's do you know what happened? Right? No. I was on the floor. What happened? Yeah, you have eyes? Come you come must have seen? Where the hell were you, you stupid uh, mustache? Uh, where's that referee? I don't know. I could go get Cyril for you. No. Yeah. What you want yeah, to do. you get Cyril for us. What you want to do is get in your vehicle, go to the liquor store, get us some beers and smokes, get your Okay. And then you'll find Sarah! KOD! Okay. KOD! Okay. Yeah, get us some f***ing okay. hair! Okay. This isn't over. This is Dennis live at TCW Undeniable here with the new TCW Tag Team Champions. How do you feel about that, Saint? Dennis, I'm feeling damn good tonight. After three, three long years, Narcissus Saint, Sex and Phoenix, back together again. This time, Twin City Wrestling. This time, Tag Team Champions. So I'm feeling good, Dennis. Feeling good. Dennis, that's a very stupid question. We just won the most prestigious Tag Team Championships in Atlantic Canada. How do you think... Get the hell out of here. You don't deserve to be in this anymore. I'm going to be serious for a minute here. Saint and I have known each other for about six years now. We've been across Canada. We've been on national television. We've wrestled in front of thousands of people. We've wrestled in front of groups of handfuls of people. We've been across the ring and on the same side, but the fact is, our bond is stronger than blood. And nobody takes blood from a stone. r and &R, you learn that firsthand tonight. Everybody else, pay close attention, because we're the champions, and it's going to stay that way.